They are two rival schools, but brought together through the loss of one of their own. 7 Action News reporter Bethany Moore shows us how they're both honoring a player who's gone too soon. At Friday night's game, military personnel came out on this field to be honored for their service. But there was someone else who was honored who couldn't be here. Service members, police and fire line a Lamphere field for the salute to service game. But someone else was being remembered in a quieter way. Of our helmets, we just did a black uh, 81 uh, to honor Zaire. Zaire was a former player of mine at Watford Mott. Every Lamphere player has the number 81 on their helmets for Zaire Krosky, a Madison High player killed over the summer from a gunshot wound. When he passed away this uh, this year, it was it was, uh, it was pretty hard, so we wanted to at least honor not only him, but honor our city since he played down the road from us. Jeff Glenn coached Zaire before taking the job at Lamphere. He's a great kid, always just always smiling, always joking around. You know, he was a really fun kid to coach. I had a lot of fun coaching him, and you know, even though it was only one year, he made a big impact. When he heard the news, he wanted the team to do something, even though it wasn't one of their players. It was unanimous. Uh, we actually have a young man on our team that played with him last year. Uh, so it all hit us pretty hard. And Madison Heights is a pretty small community, even though he came in only for one year. Coach Glenn says it's times like these when he wants to teach his players life is more than just a crosstown rival, and it's more than just football. I just wanted to show the kids that, you know, our fellow city members are hurting and, and we're here there for them just because no matter, you know, outside of that one week, if anything ever happened to any of our guys, they'd be doing the same exact thing. Coach says that they plan to keep the number 81 on their helmets for the rest of the season. Reporting in Madison Heights, Bethany Moore, 7 Action News. Thank you, Bethany. A man charged.